The Katra Masjid is a mosque and the tomb of Nawab Murshid Kuli Khan, built between 1723 and 1724 AD. It is located in the northeastern side of the city of Murshidabad and is one of the most important tourist attractions. Its importance lies not only as a great center of Islamic learning but also for the tomb of Nawab Murshid Kuli Khan who is buried under the entrance staircase. The most striking feature is the two large corner towers having loopholes for musketry. The word Katra means market and Masjid means mosque. So the Katra Masjid means a market mosque or a mass market surrounded by a mosque. It is said that Mushid Kuli Khan on reaching old age expressed his desire to construct his tomb adjacent to a mosque. He entrusted the responsibility for con constructing the mosque to his trusted follower who was an architect, Murad Farash Khan. The architectural style of this mosque is of the Sultanate architecture. The mosque stands on a square plinth. It is a brick built mosque and is surrounded by double story doom cells which were built for those who read Quran in those days. They can also be called a madrasa. All rooms can in all accommodate 700 Quran readers. These rooms from a cloister to the huge courtyard in front of this room. Four big minars stand at the four corners. These are octagonal, in plane and taper upwards. The two towers or the minarets in the front of the mosque are 70 feet high and 25 feet in diameter. The whole mosque is quadrangular in shape. The whole mosque has no pillar support but is, has been given support by a raised platform below the mosque or by several arches. The mosque has however been destroyed in the 1897 earthquake. Each minar has a winding staircase which leads to the top. One can see a major portion of the city of Murshidabad from there. But however, the minars are not open for the tourists. At present, the Katra Masjid is an inactive mosque and is under the supervision of the Archaeological Survey of India. In 1780 AD, a traveller named William Hodge wrote that 700 Quran readers lived there in the mosque. In his book, Selected Views of India describes it as a grand seminary of Muslim learning adorned by a mosque 
which rises high above all the surrounding buildings. The entrance to the mosque is by 14 flights of stairs from the east. Nawab Mushid Kuli Khan has been buried under these stairs. It has been done so as per the Nawab's wish who was repentant for the misdeeds committed by him and ordered this out of humility. He wanted to be buried in such a place where he could be trodden and could get the footprints and the touch of the feet of the noble men who climbed those stairs and entered the mosque. So, since the year 1725, when he died, his mortal remained buried under the stairs. In the mosque, there is a slab embedded at the top where it is written in Arabic, Muhammad, the Arabian, the glory of both worlds, dust beyond the head, of him who is not the dust of his portal. The mosque is a rectangular in plane. The dimensions are 45.5 meter into 7.32 meter. It has been divided into five bays, each with an arched entrance, and the central one is the most prominent one as it has a slender turret. The mosque has five domes. Some of them have been destroyed by the 90, 1897 earthquake when almost destroyed the building. The total area is 19.5 acres. which are 20 feet, each have 6 arched doorways, 15 steps eight, with stone leads up to the gate with 5 arches on either side and a stone paved pathway which leads to the central door of the mosque. The open spaces between the cells and the mosque are 13 feet wide on either side and 42 feet wide at the back of the mosque. The terrace in front of the mosque is 166 feet by 110 feet. There is a Hindu temple on one of the side of the mosque which also shows the then strong Hindu and Muslim affinity of the people. 